So it is Prakash Satasivan of PCC standing in for their regular captain, Aaron Ashokan, who is off today. He's won the toss and PCC will bat for... It's going to be a very difficult task here for the Division 2 side. Pills and Guardians, bottom of the table against this very strong PCC side. Here's the first ball and down leg side and straight to the fielder. Well, unlucky. He had about 60 metres to aim at. There <laughs> did Liam Lala and he hit that man just a bit down leg side. And just dab down the covers and I was going to say it was going to be just a single but it went through that man, Sadun Farouk, for four runs. And this one's going to be blasted for four. Too short from the bowler, Data Shetty. And you could see him as soon as he saw that fruit come down. He stepped back and smashed it through the offside on the onside for, for four runs. And it was these two. Oh, this one's in the air, but it's over, everybody. Didn't quite get hold of it. And into the breeze, still carried over the boundary for six. Comes again, big swing and a big hit and another six. They're getting bigger. And that's very expensive over there from Dada Shetty. This one's down leg side, flicked off his legs. And that's more runs. That's gone for six as well. Just eased it, did the beast. Dada Shetty bowling around. Then we get to the beast who hits it high in the air and that'll be six again. This one was a bit of a half volley outside off stump. Played with the angle a bit, did Dada Shetty. But this man's so powerful, just launched it over the covers for six. This one's launched and that's six. Well, I was about to say, he's uh, playing second fiddle to the, uh, to the beast. But Lala got one in the slot and Dada Shetty gets launched over Cow Corner for six runs. Comes in again, bowling to Lala. It's a bit shorter, cut away, that's four again. It's ground lightning, beautiful shot there. Just rolled his wrist over it. Dada Shetty, see if he can come back from this. It's in the slot, over the top. Man out there, but won't reach it. Bounces over him. And that's another four runs. This one is a slow ball that's been absolutely smashed for six. Well, it was a slow ball, full toss. And he picked that and hit it over mid-wicket for six. Just poked down. Not a bad effort there. And he's got him. It was pad bat and the beast is gone. Well, good bowling there from Nima Kumar. You were wondering where they'd get a wicket. A bit short and rubbish and smashed. Well... He was trying to hold it together, tried something a little bit different, just dropped short. You can't do that at his pace against a batsman like uh, Niam Lala. And uh, he's launched that one over midweeker for six. And not a bad ball. Got him! Played across the line, did Hilly Ahmed, and he's gone for two. And that's well deserved for Kapil Kumar. That's just been a very, very good over. And oh, Pie Chucker. And he's almost got away with that. No, he hasn't. That's four runs. It's a good ball. Ah, it's been launched, though. Well, it wasn't a bad ball. But such a good batsman is Naim Lala. And this one's been hammered for six again. It's a man there. Tallest man on the ground. Can't reach it. It's on the sidelines with an injury. The regular skipper. This is in the air. Man coming around, as two of them actually called it, and never looked like he was going to take it. Unfortunate, went high in the air, and that was DJ Vincent, who couldn't hang on to it. And this is hit straight for six, and that's a lovely shot from Prakash. Oh, this one's down leg side, put away, I think, or has he found the fielder, who does very, very well, and he's chased it around the boundary only just a single again he's found the fielder has name Lala bowling again gives it plenty of flight this is in the air but it's over the boundary and it's going to be caught out oh it's going to be dropped out there by Dijon Patel he's done a Corey Rutgers cool deep Lala's are pretty cool as well 
This one's a full toss. Unfortunately for Nems, it's going to be into the gap. And it's going to be another boundary. So Santa Stevens has been really good. At the moment, La La probably won't have to do too much else. If this one disappears, is Nems. Well, this won't be a catch. It might be a run out. And uh, I don't think it will be because he doesn't gather the ball. So they'll end up with a single there. And uh, Prague CC, 127 off their 10 overs. And as long as they defend that, they will be top of the table. You see here, yeah, I don't think the ball ever really touches the stumps. It's the hands of Russian Sink that knocks them over. As it is, we are at the end of the 10 overs. And look, it'll be a big chase for the Guardians. But I think if I was them, I would just focus on trying to bat well. Welcome back to Prague for this fan code European Cricket Series, Czech Republic, game 20, the final innings of Group A. And it's PCC that's set a target. Here comes Mataranga with the first ball. A bit short. Just pushed a short cover for no run. Helping Samira with the, uh, with the swing. And this one, talking about swinging. That's what Nirmal Kuma does. Hits it over covers for four. Nice shot that. You used no. to be a fast bowler, didn't you, Vinny? Yeah, well, yeah, this one deflected down for four, and that's down into that fast area of the ground, so another boundary. So Derek Murray was the guy yeah. I remember. That's uh, four runs. Should be a no ball, I think, as well. Yeah, it's pretty high. I mean, don't think they've called it. Uh, it's touch and go, I think. He does turn on it. Let's see what we can make of the replay. He's a little bit out of his crease. I think it probably oh. is maybe just okay. Uh, these kind of guys, Courtney Walsh. Well, I saw all those guys. I, that was a lovely shot there. Turned around the corner, fast down there. Four runs. Yeah. Well, this is down the ground. I don't think it's going to clear the fielder, though, and it's taken Hilal Ahmed. Takes a nice catch going to his left, and finally, the opening partnership is broken. <laughs> that as a number six. <laughs> this is going to be out. Sada Stevens going to take it, and we had a couple of near misses. Nimal Kumar finally gets some bat on this, but it's not enough to clear the infield. And so we will have a second wicket. Patel is the man that snares it, thanks to the acting captain, Prakash. This is in the air, and the keeper calls for it. Swirling around, but he's done well, and that's out. Oh, that's the end for DJ Vincent. The Raven there. This has hit pretty well, but he might find trouble, and he will. <laughs> and that's actually a pretty good catch out there, considering that he had to just hold up in time. I think that's uh, Samira Mataranga out there. So, we'll, uh, we'll see. Oh, this is going to be four. It's good shot. Edge, as you'd call it. And well done to the new batter. More the merrier. All right, this morning with two to come in the day. Edged, and uh, Rohit, he's not too happy with this. Getting his figures ruined with a bunch of edges. Regardless, Kumar seems like a bit of a late cut specialist if I'm going to flip the script on that. Regardless, he will move into double digits with that. He moves to 12, score up to 71. So this game then highlights the entire day. United fans will be sticking around. This is the last ball of the day, swung out and missed by Kumar. And I think that that will be that. So PCC, normal service resumes. And in this one, they win 127 to 71. Look, we do have to say goodbye to the Guardians after that, but we thank them for their efforts because they've really shown some enthusiasm, shown a lot of improvement as well in the T10 format, winning their first game yesterday, but they weren't able to get any points out of the final day. Sadly, it's the end of their ECS story in 2022.